Hello guys, uh, today we are going to learn about how we can install F5 uh, in EVNG. So sometimes uh, we are working in production and sometimes we want to learn about uh, uh, F5 and we can learn but we can, we do not have anything where we can practice, where we can where we do lab in a home, in a laptop but here is a way we can do that. Right. So uh, I have few steps that you need to wrote, write it down that what are the steps we need to take care while we are installing uh, F5 in EVNG. Okay. So for installing the first you need to have the VMware where you should have the EVNG operating system installed. Then you should have the image of F5 load balancer and you should have connectivity between Eve and G and your load balancer. We will see how we can establish that. So how we can install, this is a URL from where we can download the image of F5. Let's see. So this is the official website of F5. You just need to have the account in F5 and there then you can log in and download the virtual appliance. So these are the virtual appliance of F5 Big IP that you can download and practice on your own. Okay, so once you are done with the download, then what you can see, you will download this zip file. So if you extract the zip file, you will get uh, this file inside of this zip file. So I have extracted, already extracted this file in my desktop. Okay, and what I am going to do, I am using WinSCP. So WinSCP is a tool uh, for, from where we can do the FTP access to our EVNG. My EVNG is installed on the IP address 150.1.7.128. Okay. So here are some steps that we will be going to follow. Uh, we know that we have to create a directory uh, on this path. So let's go and create a directory in this, right? So it is opt, then it is unit lab, then add ons, then QMO folder, and here we go. So I will be going to create a folder and I'm going to give it a name big 14103. big IP so I have given this name you need to note it down that you have to be specific with this string this has to match big IP hyphen and you can use any of the keyboard that you want so I I have just kept the version of f5 that I'm going to use and I will be using this big f5 hyphen right Okay, now the folder is created. I'm going inside of that folder and with the help of WinSCP, I'm just going to drop this file here. So, this file will be going to copy it into the F5 load uh, in the Eve operating system on this directory, right? Uh, see, there are two things. So one thing you can do, you can directly drag and drop this zip file into the EVNG folder, right? And from there you can run a command. So if you are using that, you can run this command, right? Unzip and the file name. So once you are done with this, so the file inside that zip folder will be extracted to, the, to that location. And if you have already extracted that file, from the zip folder then you can just directly use it so what I am doing here I have already extracted this file from the folder and I will be using this file dropping it to the location in EVNG right all right 
so we can see the file is copied to this location okay now remember this when you are done with this process then you need to rename this file with hda with the extension of qmo file right so let's do that you need to rename it to hda qco w2 why we are doing this because evng has some process that it can identify this file and place it into the f5 template so we need to keep in mind that when we are doing all this operation we have to use this name and like when when yeah, only this name will be identified by the eng for the f5 otherwise it won't work so we need to remember this right so we have moved the file to the location we have renamed the file so if you are using gui like i am using win scp for renaming for placing the file into the desired location you can also use commands so you can you can extract the uh, zip file using this command and you can rename the uh, that uh, the f extracted file by this command mv and the file name and the desired name that you want to keep right and then i'm going to remove the file which is not required this is a zip file that's all right now we have to set the permission in the evng so for we need to run this command into the eve operating system let's do that so the username is root and the password is eve okay i'm inside it and i have to run this command up then unit lab then wrappers then unwrapper fun a fix permissions you can run this command anywhere inside evng right and it's done now i am going to run the f5 so let's do that so this is my evng i can access because i have already deployed the evng operating system and i am going to add a node f5 here we go so if you if you are if you have done good in the installation process then you can see the you know image here otherwise it will it, it will show no image right in that case we have done something wrong with the installation load balancer all good and yes okay and also i'm going to use the cloud and that is zero uh, see how we can select this cloud it depends that what is the vm net you are using in the vmware suppose i am using this eve operating system i am going into the setting and i can see uh, see uh, going to the edit virtual network and i am going to use this interface right vmnet1 vmnet1 and using this subnet 151.128.0 vmnet1 let's see where it is mapped in the in this operating system vmnet1 is mapped with the network adapter 2 right so so keep in mind that if i am using vmnet1 then i have to use a cloud v cloud one right so let's deploy the cloud one here let's check yep and let's connect this i'm going to start this big f5 is started let's click on the icon so now virtual appliance is ready to use so we have to give at least 10 to 15 minutes to you know to complete with the boot process and everything now let's log into the f5 so the username is root 
and the password is default it is asking for the current password because we need to change the password for that it is again default and asking for the new password so i am setting a new password for that and it is done so as you know that we have not added any licensed so it is showing no license and we are in the config mode right so now we are going to you know install the ip address on the management side from where we are going to access the device so as you all know so whenever we are you know first time installing any network device we have to connect with the console and we have to give the ip address the management ip address from where we will be going to access the device so the same process we have to follow here is just that this is a virtual appliance and we are using through some if ng program so giving us platform to configure the ip address of f5 so how we can do that i need to run the command config right it will give me a console that you need to add the ip address it is a web based process for that yeah okay select ipv4 okay mm -hmm. so this is the current ip address on the system but i want to make the changes for that use automic configuration of ip address no select no and then enter okay so what is the ip address we want so we want we need to identify that what is existing subnet and the gateway we have for our device so we were using vmnet1 and it has gateway 151.128.1 okay uh, so for the f5 i am going to assign it to One fifty dot one dot one twenty eight dot hundred, right? This is IP address. This is a subnet mask. Do you want to create a default route for the management port? Yes. What is the default route? This is a right. If this is a gateway of the VMnet one. We have seen that. This is a gateway configured on our side, VMNet1, and this is a, a gateway for the Big 5. F5, okay, okay, default route is set, IP address set, subnet is set, and we are good. Yes. So when you hit the enter, it is installing everything on this. Now we have installed the ip address on the big f5 right let's try to ping that are we able to reach to the device so the ip address is 150.1.128.100 no we are not able to reach to the device right you know why we are not able to ping to the ip address because in the f5 we have a management port and we have configured ethernet port for that so we have to configure this cloud with the management port and then we will try to access the device so for that i have to stop the device and I will have to change in the node of this device. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to add and management. So this is a management port of the F5 and then I'm going to start the node again and we will see. So I'm pausing the video for 10 minutes because it will take time to load the device okay now the device is loaded and let's access the device No, 
now we are inside it let's verify the IP addresses okay I think the IP address is not reflected here yet. Let's check the configuration. It has to be there in the management port, right? If it is not there, then we need to configure it again. okay so it took some time but now we can see the management port is configured with the correct ip address so this is ip address we have configured on the device 151 12800 this is a network marks this is a broadcast ip and i think we are good now let's try to ping it from outside that are we able to ping this ip address or not We are able to ping the IP address of F5. Okay, I am going to see the device GUI. Okay, I am getting something and let's proceed to the IP address 151.12800. So we are installing for the first time so it will take some time for the web server setup and internal process that it takes to show us the GUI okay now the page is loaded and let's try to log into the device uh, admin and the password we set previously okay asking to change the password again current password I had set up and the new password okay bad password it was a simple password I used so it is saying to use with every policy we need to follow while selecting the password okay Okay, the password is changed successfully now try to access this device all right login failed okay finally we are able to set up f5 in the efg even g and we can see the gui this GUI is not licensed we have not added any license so that's why the first time when you are seeing this window it is asking to it is going to ask you to add the license it is going to ask you to do the initial configuration which is required to see everything in the F5 then you can see the LTM then you can deploy the uh, you know other resources like you can uh, add the gtm you can use the ltm and you can use the other modules of f5 then only so this video is up to this part that how we can install the f5 how we can set up the gui how we can initially set up the ip address and in my next video i will be going to talk about how we can add the license and what are the 
minimum configuration we need to do to see the you know uh, to see the ltm and the basic functionality of a5 which is made for right so i am ending this video here if you have any problem while installing the f5 while setting all this up you can post a comment i'll answer you all and i will also be sharing my yeah, like, like uh, these commands that uh, that i have written here you can use these commands you can use this url to download the f5 and that's that's i think uh, you should be good with that if you have if you have any problem then please post in the comment section thank you guys goodbye